Hey, get ready for takeoff. Today we're celebrating National Aviation Day, which pays tribute to the significant contributions of aviation pioneers. Flight as we know it has advanced rapidly over the years. Good day, reporter Kamaria Scarra joins us live from the North Las Vegas Airport to explore the history and the art of aviation. Good morning, Kamari. Good morning. Check out this aircraft. We are in the cockpit right now and I have pilot Sean Lychok joining for us. Sean, um, pilot Sean, tell us what aircraft we're in right now. Yeah, so we're in the Pilatus PC-24 Super Versatile Jet. And talk to us about some of the features. You mentioned that this is one of the aircraft that really gets high in elevation. Yeah, uh, so the service ceiling on this airplane uh, is 45,000 feet. So we're flying a little bit higher than the airliners. Um, to achieve uh, efficiency and we can uh, definitely stretch out the range of our uh, trips. Yeah, and there's a lot going on here. So how does this work? I'm sure that you're not just pressing autopilot and just relaxing. What are some of the key features? I mean, redundancy, everything is doubled up on this airplane. So it looks intimidating, but for the most part, we're touching about 10 to 20% of the buttons during flight, so. And now I see this feature here. Is this kind of like driving a car, like a steel? And <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, yeah, so you have the, the yoke, which basically controls the, the surfaces of the, of the aircraft along with the rudders down on the bottom of it. Um, we have the power levers that are in the center and then a few different control surfaces that we control as well. So we have the air brake function and uh, flaps as well. You know, airliner type aircraft as well. Awesome. Well, Pilot Sean, thank you so much for joining us all morning. Really You're interesting welcome. information on celebrating National Aviation Day. We're going to yeah. send it back to you all in the studio. I might take a flight, actually. California? You ready to go? <laughs> Let's get out of here. I was going to say, Kamari's got the GPS already set for Cabo, so I think uh, we already know where she's going after this morning.